my number one priority in this manifesto is education. I'm asking to be judged on the success I and my government, if we're re-elected, have in closing the attainment gap. Um, you know, I know how important education is. It's shaped my life, and I want every young person to have the same opportunities I had. Uh, and I'm, if you like, putting my neck on the line. I'm asking to be judged on it because there's nothing more important than the uh, start we give our young people and the education we give our young people. Well, the message on independence is that that question is very much in the hands of the people. It's no secret to anybody that I back independence and I would love to see a second independence referendum, but that's not just a decision for me. Uh, we'll only have another referendum if a majority of people want that and want Scotland to be independent. My challenge is to persuade a majority to want that. If I don't succeed in that, there won't be another referendum. If I do succeed and the SNP succeeds in that, then nobody will have the right to stand in the way of a referendum. The future of the country belongs in the hands of the people and that's always the way it should be. Well, you know, Westminster and the Scottish Government came together to pave the way for the last referendum. We recognise that people should have the democratic right to choose uh, and that, if we get into position and we're not there yet, that a majority want another referendum, that should be the same thing that happens then. And I, I just don't think it would be uh, at all feasible in the face of majority opinion for any politician to try to stand in the way. Uh, and you will recognise in that that we didn't persuade enough people the last time. If we're going to change that for the future, then we have to address the reasons uh, why some people who might have voted yes last time didn't. Uh, and we'll do that, as I say, with patience and with respect.